Today we're in the kitchen making gluten-free tuna cakes. Now you might be going, why gluten-free tuna cakes? Well, my son's girlfriend has uh, gluten allergy and dairy allergy. So when I come up with meals to make for us when she's coming over, I gotta be really specific. And uh, she doesn't eat red meat, so tuna seemed like an easy thing I could throw together and had all the ingredients in my kitchen. Let's show you how to make it. You're gonna start off with some safe catch tuna. Now the reason I buy safe catch is because it's the lowest in mercury count. So I forgot to mention that she's pregnant as well. And it's really important when you do have tuna during your pregnancy is that you watch the mercury count. With safe catch, you don't have to. Now if you like the smell of tuna, this is amazing. <sighs> All right. Now to hold these cakes together, we're gonna need some type of grain. But what I found is panko or Japanese breadcrumbs are gluten free. So I'm gonna use about a half cup for two cans and mix that up. Now my egg is gonna hold it together, so I've got some cage free eggs. And one, two. And start bringing this together. Now this in itself doesn't have a lot of flavors. So I'm gonna add some fresh chives and cilantro to give it a little bit of kick. With your chives, go ahead and turn them in half and then finely cut them. Now keep in mind, I'm just an at-home chef. I just have some really great knives and a good cutting board, which is what any at-home person could really use. And about a good tablespoon of cilantro. Don't forget the value of some good old salt and pepper to season this as well. Then I like to add another little sweetness from honey mustard. Now I'm gonna form this into four patties. Okay, so now let's get these bad boys on the stove and heat them up. Use some avocado oil. Let your oil get warm so that when you uh, just drop a little bit of something in there, it'll cause a sizzle as opposed to just dropping it in and nothing happening. You want those to cook for about three to five minutes on each side, just to get that egg to hold together. Now remember, you're just trying to keep these together. So just charred a little bit on each side. Okay, to finish these off, stir them on a plate, add a little dollop. This is chipotle lime mayo. It is dairy free, a little bit of parsley. There you go, gluten-free tuna cakes. Get the crab off to the side. Tuna's where it's at. There you have it, gluten-free tuna cakes. No crab about it.